This morning we're talking about what is an age-old battle between husbands and wives, mothers and daughters. How do you parent your kid? This week, Time Magazine tackles the argument in a, a very provocative cover story. It's called, Are You Mom Enough? And they look at attachment parenting. And on the cover is a woman uh, who clearly has a kid who's got to be yeah, three years old. Who's attached. Who's attached, who's attached yeah. to his nursing uh, from his mom. Uh, they talk specifically about uh, Dr. Baby Guru, Dr. Sears, who emphasizes the baby bees. Birth bonding, breastfeeding, uh, baby wearing, bedding close to the baby, uh, belief in the language value of your baby's cry, and on and on and on. That style is not without controversy. Belinda Luscombe is the editor-at-large of Time Magazine, a mother as well. Did you, babe, did you breastfeed your kid till he was three years old, like the woman on this uh, cover is doing? Uh, no, no, I have no problem if that is somebody's choice, but that was not going to be something I could manage. The question you have on the cover is, <laughs> are you mom enough? And I think it's a sort of a version of, are you a bad mom? Which is a question that women everywhere have been grappling with forever. Why is attachment parenting so controversial? What ex exactly is it? Attachment parenting, as you uh, explained, is, uh, is a type of parenting that really responds very much to the child rather than the mother's needs. This is what, you know, one argument would say. So the child is never left to cry. If the child cries, you must pick it up straight away. There's none of this cried out. They don't believe... No fervor. No fervor, no putting the baby on a schedule. The, the baby sets the schedule. They encourage breastfeeding, they encourage co-sleeping. You sleep with the baby or babies if you have them. The wearing of the baby Why all the so time. Why is it so controversial? All those things sound like perfectly fine if it's somebody's choice. Well, I think we might find some controversy if we ask the yeah. men about this. No, 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 no. no. Uh, I've seen dad... First of all, this is not just moms. I've seen dads same way who go along with that. No, not, not the breastfeeding. <laughs> Not the breastfeeding part. Because I want to write That's a cover. Not, not, not the breastfeeding part, but in terms of letting the child dictate, in terms of absolutely sleeping in the bed. You know, I'm not, not going to name some names, but let's say I've had to check some people at their own house. Like, look, that's a kid. Go to your room. And because, and, and so what happens is that child then grows up, becomes four, five, and six, and it's like a, gr a little adult, and they're running the parents. That may be happening in some cases. Uh, there is really no good science on how much you should let your child cry. Obviously, you should not let your child cry forever. Nobody is saying that. There have been studies among orphans and childs that were left alone. But there is, the science is, cl is really out on whether attachment parenting, which is really something the mothers do because it makes them feel like very bonded to their child, and how much that it, it's better for the kid. And that's what the story explains. But it has to be said that this style of parenting has had an enormous influence in the last 10, 20 years, it's very hard to have not uh, uh, come across this kind Surrounded of attachment. Dee, did, you, did your wife do attachment parenting? I'm married 30 years, we have four kids, and my wife is very dedicated to our kids. She gave up her career for them, but there's a limit. Right. And there's time for them to go to their room. And she's a great mom. She hammered me with baby, 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 baby. Those are the four B's of my life. <laughs> you know? And I know the baby comes first, but she draws a line at, at certain points. But she raises an interesting point when you say that your, your wife gave up, up her career. Uh, it, from the article, um, attach, is attachment parenting a misogynist plot to take women out of the workplace and put them back in the home full time? Or is it a way to encourage mothers and babies to form loving bonds, which science has shown is beneficial to long-term emotional health and well-being? Uh, this is written by uh, Kate Pickard, the author. Right. I, you know, my, my feeling on this is that, I, that we could not have attachment parenting if we hadn't first had feminism because we have been brought up as women to find our own paths to get really educated to over deliver that if you want to be in your position sold out if you want to be a I successful be woman is that what you, <laughs> you need to over deliver you need to work harder at what you do and be better at it and I think women have brought all that energy and engagement and education and said I'm going to be the mother of all mothers especially if I'm giving up you know my job or whatever I I'm going to mother the heck out of this kid. And I think that's part of what it is. How it's much of it, though, is just a backlash to the, how we were raised, right? I mean, most of the people, I would guess, around this table, our parents were basically like, hey, go out, play, don't, don't come back TV. in the house. Yeah. Right, go sit in front of the TV or go out, come back at dinner time, we'll call you, stay out of trouble. A lot looser, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So isn't this just a backlash? Like, I was raised this way, now I'm going to raise you know, my kids the opposite of that. I'm sure my children will raise their kids the opposite of that. Well, I think it's partly that, but I think it is also that we are smarter about raising kids. It turns out that plonking your kid in front of the TV for six hours a day is not good for them. It's not good for their body, it's not good for their brain. It turns out that smoking when you're pregnant 
not good for you. That's all the things we've stopped doing. So I think we are more educated. Has the pendulum swung mm. too far? I That's the issue. I got the this. pendulum mm. and the line is decent. There are good things in this article, in this, in this concept, such as breastfeeding. It has certain benefits to, to a child's life. But this has evolved into the point where, as you described, the child is what is in charge. The child's schedule. Right. And Roland pointed out, that evolves into a child that also has no discipline. This is a, this, this is a, this I is, don't know that that's true. I, well, I think so, strapping a kid I've to you it. is the way it that's is it. done in many countries, many right? You take your baby, you put them in a sling, and you drag them around everywhere you go. That's not a child who's in charge necessarily. No, no, that's, that's, that is taking a kid who is who you're not going to say, I'm not going to leave my house because they're pu I'm putting them down for a nap. Sometimes this kid on a schedule is more in charge than a kid who you just no, throw on your, in, your, uh, in the baby Bjorn and drag around. That's, that's a whole who different set the deal. Schedule? That's a whole different deal. If the kid's on a schedule, the mom sets the schedule. No, that's a... There that's the point. The mom sets the schedule. That's just, that's, and so what you're, I think and you can't move until the kid wakes up for the nap. I'm telling you, you've this. got some folks out here who need to let go. And your point about we're smarter raising kids, I'm sorry. I've seen some people, education does not mean smarter. I've, a lot of old school parents do a better job at raising even people's kids today because we're letting folks do whatever they want. Belinda Luscombe is the editor-at-large at Time Magazine. Nice to talk to you. So, so much fun to be here. <laughs> 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 <laughs>